Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions with me, Get Daved. I just exited the menu screen, that's all you missed. Looks like we've got a bit of a smaller group this time. Nope, two squads, perfect. They're fairly balanced as well. We're a little light on revival in the uh, Beowulf group, but we should be okay. Welcome to the Necro Hall. You may remember from the popular Kisro Christmas Carol, Necro Halls with Bells of Holly. That's a stupid joke. I'd like you all to forget you heard it. A hundred get Dave points to deny it happened. Oh, Kletian, no one will miss you. Kind of an advanced group of classes in his army, though. Okay, we could haste everybody fairly easily, but we'd hit a couple enemies. I'm probably not going to bother coming up with much more of a calculation than that. Let's just take a look at their gear. Also, I didn't give Balthier a fancy gun or anything. Oh yeah, all very impressive. Actually, it's kind of tempting to nuke him outright. Arcane defense, though. That is not a reaction ability. Sometimes the game cheats how it applies the skill slots just to make the enemies more impressive. We'll do a multiple of three just to decrease the likelihood that we hit anybody on a height of two. Yeesh. Well, I guess it's a slight edge to me. Maybe not. I actually probably should just hit all of these people with Holy instead, but uh, I'm willing to live with this now. But what will their time mages do? It'd be kind of terrible if it missed on all of my characters. I think we'll just have him stand still. He'll get his next turn much faster. And we'll barrage away from here. But I don't like to only go after the leader in these sorts of fights, so we'll spread it out, even though I am planning on just kind of blitzing through the game at this point. She had a pole thrown at her. Okay, uh, I'm going for it. Guaranteed to hit at least one. And she's super exposed and everything, but we'll see what we can do. He has the ever dorky fly ability. Okay, who hasn't acted yet that we can hit with, uh... Actually, change of plans. Let's neuter him first. So Kletian's not really a threat anymore. <laughs> we'll deal with him, hopefully. Cross your fingers, everybody. I'd love to give Beowulf the Faith Rod to really boost up those stats, but anyway. This is also another uh, ability that circumvents the the 
theoretical best party a lot of people come up with is a group of knights equipped with the best sword they can possibly get, and all with high brave and blade craft and super low faith. But things like a group of monks built in a very similar fashion just slaughter them, so I'm much more of a believer in the balanced party than these kind of trick parties. Yeah, we'll shoot that guy. I think the idea of shooting a guy who's defending himself while aiming at someone else is kind of funny. Get your words in now, boy. The High Seraph. Hmm. Saint Ajora was a conduit for uh, the leader of the Lukavi, basically. We'll call Saint Ajora the Antichrist, for simplicity's sake. And let's just do one of these the old-fashioned way. Oh, very good work. Potion, thank you. Oh, she's hasted, which is why her turn has prompted so quickly. She'll get her summon off soon, provided she lives. Really? Did everyone so perfectly leave the area of effect? Well, that is just upsetting. All right, Kletjin, this is your last chance for dialogue. Ooh, not a wise, not a wise choice. Problem solved. Hmm. Wonder what that meant. Yay, money we will never spend. If there were the ability to throw it, like Samurais have in some Final Fantasy games, that would be one thing, but... Alright, I think I'm pretty happy with all of this. We just gotta change both here around. I'm a little concerned that if we give them an elemental gun, there could be some problems, but uh, I'll live with it. That reduces the need for that to be equipped, and we can give them something a bit more interesting, maybe. We can make them even faster. Now, bump up his MA stat. This might be interesting. It'll boost the damage from it. Yeah, let's try this configuration. Both ears got lots of hit points. The Lost Halidom. I believe Fulmarv's the only Templar left. I remember one fight where it's a huge area divided in half. Oh, I thought we killed this guy.
All right then. And he's got some impressive poachables with him. This is a map where fly could be highly useful. Multiples of three are out and that's it. Okay. Uh, I'll just try targeting one for now. We're gonna set some realistic expectations. And we've been using Holy a lot, so let's try something a bit different. Yeah, let's see if this works. It'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. All right, I'm gonna use the spell called Death. By the way, it should be the best one. The entire effect is a ghost going, woo, and it missed. That's really too bad. Should have been a lot more impressive. Oh well. Use X fight. Yes, he will shoot one more time. He poached from that range, hey? Well, that's gonna change my life. You're only gonna make him angry. I wonder. Uh, you know what? Terrible things are gonna be coming for us, so we might as well put some shields up. When those, uh... Whoa! The blaze gun. That was a very impressive debut. Oh, this could be very bad. Sometimes this is a multi attack. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a fireball that can. Uh, it's kind of like the abilities that uh, Rafa has. Except it's working the exact perfect way you would want it to. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think this is just out of range, but we'll try it. All right. Also, those are the only people who can revive, so we need to act quickly. Uh, putting up shell is kind of tempting. Kiyomori, there we go. Okay, I'll think about that. The, worth the opportunity. Okay, so that's... I think the other one will probably run away too. The, the black one. It will maybe run. It might attack first, which I'm not excited about. Really, what's your story, you little jerk? How's that guy taking so little damage from both here? I have no idea. Well, let's simplify my life. Turn those guys into rugs.
The dreaded arm shot. It is annoying. Actually, both here can revive Ramza pretty easily. I, uh, I was freaking out for no reason. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll drop her. Actually, you can move her in. She's got re-raise. We're, we're fine. By the way, having a Shantage on your healer is a really good idea. Anyone who can revive, really. Okay, so that should negate the Behemoth for a little bit, although really I'm hoping to poach him quickly. Don't worry about it. Actually, I could give her a totally different uh, reaction ability, knowing that it doesn't really matter if she dies or not. Imagine that didn't sound quite as cold-hearted. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go for that. I want both here to get that kill. I should probably prioritize reviving Ramza, though. Because we don't uh, want to take any chances here. Especially with only an 82% success rate of revival. Okay. Uh, height Prime, Super Cure. Yeah, I'm fine with it. So we'll heal an enemy a fair bit. It's okay, he was doing just fine. Charging that ability up would take probably uh, 10 work weeks. If both year dies, he'll like, we'll probably only have two turns to revive him. So food for thought. Uh, tempting to just go for the kill. And... Oh yeah, she has like, uh... Auto-entice on her basic attacks as well, which is kind of impressive. Still tempting to go for the poach though, especially with this guy being disabled and all. Oh, this may count as a kill. Or like a, as a death on my official stats. But it's so exotic. Besides, he wasn't really one of us. He was just somebody with the traitor status. That's very, very different. Okay. Height Prime. And let's do this properly this time, shall we? Well, not really that great damage. I probably should just give Ramza Arcane Boost, but... It's so tempting not to. Ugh, this is just like Valkyria Chronicles. Alright, I think Agrius is actually not going to have a single thing she can do. Beowulf still disabled. Uh, unfortunately, he's usually the one dishing that status ailment out. Oh, darn you. I suppose we could try disabling him right back. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay, he's toast. Mm. 
We won't be able to sell any of these poached corpses, but, you know, it's good for the collection. Okay, um... Two disabled characters. Levels a multiple of three. CT gauges. Both multiples of four. And Essena. This is going to take a while to cast. And we're only really interested in the results, so I'm going to kick it into high gear. There we go. Success, but that's fairly likely to happen. Okay. Zero percent chance because he's not a dragon. I should have saved for holy breath, but anyway. Uh, Barish is just going to shoot her, I think. Might as well decrease the chance that he uh, succeeds at uh, taking her out. Between the regen and the heal, it might be enough. Go get him, Mogri. You know, I was trying to see if I could make the summoner class look really impressive, but I think it's uh, just a bit of a long shot. All right, she's back on her feet. Oh, and I have something for you, sir. No, more firepower. Thank you. Just out of curiosity. I wonder... Okay, that, that's pretty terrible damage. For some reason his uh, equipment's not working that well today. Let's show off Ultima, because why not? He probably won't live long enough. Can I hurt him with some sort of Iido ability? This is probably worse. I think this one also casts slow. Okay, that was not terribly impressive. And yeah, we'll be hitting our own people with Ultima, but Rius will get the auto heal. Wow! No, she won't. They have remarkable resistance to magic damage, considering their faith is still pretty high. I think the game just might be giving them some passive uh, defense bonuses. Yeah, of course. Apparently. <laughs> Which is what it is to be human, is to be above all other men. Oh. So he has his freedom. Even though you are now in the service of a demon. Those words put him down. Darn, that would have been really symbolically appropriate. Fine, we'll do it the other way. Let the darkness have him. Or let God silence him. I'm fine with whatever at this point. Bleed all the same. Also, I'm not sure it's such a good idea to bring all of the stones to one place, but anyway. I'm sure that won't come up.
I'll see you all in the next episode.